Hi guys, what's up? I'm Sarah Jane. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to try something a little different. I'm at my boyfriend's house um, and we were going to make some food and talk a little bit about movies, but his power went out. So we're just going to, I'm just going to record this. Um, he doesn't seem to want to be on camera right now. So, um, we have some ingredients for sandwiches. So I'm just going to make a sandwich um, and talk to you guys about um, just some recent movies that came out. I don't want to continue to do like an analysis because it, it just seems like um, that's, that's boring. I'll, I'll be honest. It seems a little boring to you guys and it seems boring to me. Um, I love talking about movies and I love interacting with them, but it just seems like talking about them in that way um, isn't quite what we, or what fascinates people and helps uh, understand the movie. So I'm going to try not to spoil anything on some of the movies I'm going to talk about, but if I do, I'll let you know in advance. Um, so yeah, without further ado, um, I'm just gonna start making some sandwiches and I'm gonna go get a plate. So, um, okay, so, um, essentially, I just have some whole wheat bread here. I'm gonna use that on my sandwich, or for my sandwich, per se. Um, how are everyone summers doing? Like, I haven't really uh, updated in a while, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments how your summer's going and what you have planned and what you're excited about. Um, so. I don't think there's mayonnaise in his fridge, so I'm going to use ranch because it's creamy too. Um, just use a little bit of that on the sandwich. And I also have some mustard. So I'll use some mustard too. Oops. Um, yeah, so there were some pretty good movies that came out this week. Actually, I think the power just turned back on. Go figure. Um, oh yeah, the power just turned back on. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just made a swirly motion and stuff with my, my stuff. And I'm going to use some turkey. Um, and some cheese, and then maybe some onions on top for some fun. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> um, so anyway, back to the whole movie thing. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of movies lately that um, have been really good. And some that I haven't been super excited about. Um, Incredibles 2, I've seen four times. I think it was really good. I think what they've done with Jack-Jack is an amazing, awesome thing and an awesome way of doing things. But I'm gonna leave that out and make one for my boyfriend. Um, but it's kind of funny that, like, um, everyone had to wait 14 years. It sucks. But they were right. It was worth the wait. I feel, um, I also feel that, like, with Jack-Jack, they really, they, they upped their game, and I'm glad that they used, um, Mrs. Incredible for it, because you need heroes nowadays, there are some that are female, like Wonder Woman, who are really, um, empowering women and helping that move along in the world. But, 
there are a lot of things like with these cartoon worlds where they don't really touch on that. So I'm really glad that they um they touched on that and they moved um into that direction. I'm also glad that the villain, this is a little bit of a spoiler, um, I'm, I'm glad that the villain was more of a female character um, who was diabolical. Now, not all women are ruthless and cruel and whatnot um, like she was. However, her, she had a depthful story, a depthful background. Um, and I was glad that they actually had something like that where they were able to um, show you the light and dark that any villain could portray. And she being a woman um, was just nice to see. Um, so, uh, okay, so let's talk about the Disney shorts in the beginning of The Incredibles. Because um, a lot of you probably think that was insane because I, I know I did my first couple times. I was like, what is this? What is going on? And a little bit of a spoiler. Um, I guess this, the Disney short's gonna be a bit of a spoiler today, but you might wanna watch because you need to be prepared for this. Um, so it took me a couple watches to fully understand quite what was going on. Um, so it's called Bao, or Bao, B-A-O. Um, and it's, I think she's Chinese. Um, not possibly Korean, but I'm pretty sure it's Chinese. Don't quote me on that. It might be Japanese too. I'm not sure it's Asian. Um, an Asian mother and father. Um, she makes dumplings and stuff. One of the dumplings comes to life and becomes a little baby. And she's taking care of it. And he's getting older. And he doesn't want to be around her anymore. And kind of go off on his own way and play and stuff. And she just wants him to be a little baby and stay with her. Um, and he runs off and finds a woman who loves him. And she gets upset because they're like getting married, which is really weird because it's a dumpling. Um, and she eats him. And then you find out later that she actually has a son that looks similar to a dumpling. So my thought on that is she probably called him Little Dumpling. So she always saw him as a little dumpling, little cute, tiny thing. Wanted him to be little forever. Always wanted to be around him. And I understand that. Like, I totally get that. Um, having, I have a, a new, a, be, a cat now. She's only, she's three already, but I feel that way towards her. I, I want her to be around me all the time and I want her to love me for me and I want everything to be all perfect. Um, and I know that's not the same as a kid in any way, shape or form. I know for a fact that's not the same as a kid. However, um, I'm the oldest of four. I was homeschooled and my mom is kind of having those things right now. Um, I'm moving out in about a month with my boyfriend, Tony, and my sister Amy is going to ISU for a music therapy major, um, in about two months. So my mom, I think is getting very clingy, worried, um, she, so I'm the oldest of four, um, my sister is the second youngest, um, and my brother already moved out, who is, um, the third child, so all she'll have left is the baby in the family at her house, and I mean, she loves her to death, but having only one kid around is really messing with her. Um, and we've been arguing a little bit about, um, me moving in with my boyfriend and I understand, I understand where she's coming from and I understand that, but 
this Disney short kind of made me think about that. Like, she literally eats her son, so she. I think in a way when she did that, she ate who she saw him as, like as a child, um, being her little dumpling. He left, and she felt a little betrayed by that. Um, because she, he wasn't mama's boy anymore. He was someone else's. And it's a sad moment. Um, but they kind of changed it at the end where they're all making dumplings together. And they're making their own traditions. And she had to stop thinking of him as her little boy. And start being a proud mom of a grown man who's being himself and learning how to raise his own family. So I know it's a little weird of a, a story, but after a couple times, you start to realize that it there is some depthfulness in that story and it, people can relate to it. And I think that's why they put it in. And even though it is really weird, um, it was really cool to watch. So that was probably my favorite one that's come out so far. Um, Let's uh, check out my sandwich. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, so um, that sandwich with Funyuns in it. Um, yeah, hope you guys like that. Um, I know it's not the best in the world, but grabbing another plate from my boyfriend so I can make him one. Um, but yeah, that's, I'm making food on camera, so let me know in the comments what you want me to make next. Um, hopefully I'll be able to make it without having as many issues <laughs> as I did today. Um, but yeah, uh, I saw Jurassic World twice, um, as far as Jurassic World goes, I didn't think it was as good as the other ones that have happened, or that have been made. Um, I think that they should have stuck with one concept and continued on. Um, it's not fair to just throw every idea in and expect us to be able to follow a storyline that isn't even there. So, I'm hoping, hoping that things get better with the Jurassic World series. Now it's more like a Planet of the Apes type thing mixed with um, dinosaurs instead. And I feel that's kind of a ripoff and that's not fair. So, yeah. I mean, as far as Jurassic World goes, there are some good parts in it. There's some humorous parts. Um, you know, the dinosaurs are cool. I cry like a baby. I cried like a baby um, when they left the island. Because, you know, that's pretty a pretty sad moment if you've seen it. Um, if not, I'm not going to spoil a whole lot for you. Um... Yeah, but, I mean, to me, it seemed like they had all these ideas for scenes. And they wanted to add all these ideas in one movie and make it awesome. And they couldn't stick with a theme. They need this undergoing theme to make it all go together. And they couldn't really do that. So... It kind of sucked that that's how they, they did things. But, I mean, there's still a lot of people going to see it. I do still work at a movie theater, so I know a lot of people have seen it because I had a lot of people come and see it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's not the worst film I've ever seen. But it's not the greatest. They need to have a tying theme. And they didn't seem to really have that in this film. So, let's see, what else have I seen? Tag. 
I saw Tag. I liked Tag. I feel like there were moments where the characters took it a little too far. Um, which I guess makes sense. That's why kind of why it's rated R. Um, there's some things that just, they weren't funny to me. And honestly, a lot of like the physical injury and stuff isn't too funny to me, but I understood it in this film and I, I kind of liked it. I liked how they had a journalist following them around the whole time. Um, because I'm a journalism major and I could totally see that happening. <laughs> um, like that's an interesting feature story and... I would love to, to do an article about that and how kids um, grew up and still play tag so they can be close together. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a good movie. Um, like I said, there were some moments where they took it a little too far, but they addressed that in the movie, during the movie. So I know there's a whole bunch of other ones that I've watched that I haven't talked about. Um, but like I said, I want to do something a little different. I don't want to critique every movie and, and analyze it. I want to just talk about the highlights of some of them and um, let you guys know what I think before you go and see them for yourselves. And let me know in the comments what you thought of Jurassic World, Incredibles 2, and Bio, which was a Disney short, but it's still technically a film. Um... Yeah, just let me know in the comments and let me know what else you want me to review. So, yeah, well, the electricity is back on. I'm going to go have some food with my boyfriend and we're going to hang out before I have to go celebrate my mom's birthday today. So happy birthday, mom. I love you. Um, I hope that you aren't too mad about this video and me talking about bio and comparing us, but there are some things that I understand and I know, I know I'm not perfect. I know I'm not a perfect daughter, but I try to make you happy. And I really hope that no matter what I do, you're proud of me. So I love you. Happy birthday. And thank you all for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.